What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So a lot of people were very excited about meme coins and where meme coins are going, that we were in meme coin season, right? You saw Pepe this, Pepe that, and it's not about just this position, but you even have like baby Pepe and like King Pepe and all these other different things that were created within literally hours of this taking off and then days you see multiples that are coming up. I was looking at this one channel and they were getting thousands upon thousands of views um, from different type of Pepe positions that were created just from reviewing a lot of these positions. And it was interesting to me because they posted like 20 videos a day and it was all based on these different Pepe kind of lookalikes and, you know, copycats and things like that. And it's insane. Some of them, I guess, went on to be scams and some of them went on to be, you know, things that are still existing today, even though all of them exist. It's just some exist better than others. Um, but right now we're in the middle of trying to accept whether Pepe is something that, you know, will have a future or won't have a future, right? People are trying to say that this, you know, will fall heavily or, you know, this will absolutely take off once we do see more of a bullish market. Um, but I want to give you guys the information. I want to give you guys the data and uh, you guys can interpret that. I'm not going to sit here and say whether it's going to be something that absolutely explodes or doesn't because no one truly knows besides the people that are behind it. Now you have creators behind Pepe um, that we don't know who they are and you don't know their intentions. Um, but I wanted to get into all the information here, all of the tea, because it is down a significant amount in the last seven days. So guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, feel free to check out those links down below as well as other exchanges that are down there. So referrals, if you guys want to check out KuCoin, Crypto.com, uh, Coinbase, Webull, you can check out those and uh, trade cryptocurrency on them. And uh, you'll get various cryptocurrencies on those platforms, uh, depending on what they offer. But anyways, when it comes to Pepe, I talk about it, right? I've been uh, mentioning this pretty much every day since, you know, things have really taken off. And the reason being is because one, I'm now slightly invested into it. It's not saying like I've put everything into it. Like I put $100 into it. I just recently invested like another $10 into it just because it was at a lower point and I was able to capture multiple millions um, by just putting $10 more into it. You know, I like to average down. So that's what I've been doing into the position. I think right now I hold like 67,000 or sorry, 67 million. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, I'm talking about it because of that, but also it's really kind of at the forefront, right? Everybody's really talking about it. You have articles that are saying, what is this meme coin? Is it gonna be the next Shiba Inu or is it gonna be the next thing that blows up and stays at a certain market cap? And honestly, we don't know, but we are seeing a little bit of a fall today, which is very, very interesting. So anyways, let's look at what Pepe is doing and then we'll talk about uh, some more stuff um, related to this project. But currently Pepe is at 0.00000. .00000 uh, 1204. If we look at the last day, it's down 26% in the last day. So things have been falling quite a bit. And it wasn't only this, right? The market is down overall. It's down to like a $1.1 .1 trillion market cap. So things are definitely down. We're seeing more, um, more of a bloodbath and a lot of things. So it's understandable why Pepe, you know, would be down. Um, but then we go into the next seven days, right? The last seven days, this got all the way up to a $1.6 billion market cap. And now, we're seeing this down um, about 70%, right? 69.38% in the last seven days. This is crazy um, to see it drop by this much. Now, it is over seven days, right? It's not something that just automatically dropped and fell off the face of the earth, as you can see, like other projects that will just completely fall. But it's something that has, you know, trickled on the way down. And day after day, we've seen a significant loss within the position. And I kind of talked about this, right? When I first invested into Pepe, I told you that the idea for me was to invest lower. And if it can find a way to get back to a $100 million market cap, I would be very happy with that because then I can be able to make that investment and know that you have so much room to grow above it. Um, so I said, as it goes down, I'm going to average into the position knowing that I believe it's going to decrease. However, if we do see this by any chance just absolutely skyrocket, then I would be able to reap the benefits as well by you know getting my feet wet, by putting $100 into it at a level of a $1.1 billion market cap. Now, as time goes on, 
I continue to invest more. So I, I said this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. It wasn't anything where I was like, hey, invest all your money into the play. I'm not promoting this position like that. I'm talking about the position, giving you the information, and you guys make the decision on whether you want to see it. Um, you want to see your money in there, uh, invested in there, and maybe grow or possibly decrease with it. So as time went on, it got down to a $474 million market cap where it is right now. And that's definitely a low point. You know, I the last time I invested was just recently. Um, which was a $500 million market cap. And the next time I'll invest is probably a $300 million market cap. And if it gets down to a $100 million market cap, I will put a little bit more money into it than just 10 or 20 or $30 or even a hundred dollars. I'll probably put a couple hundred dollars into it. Um, you know, thinking that we have so much room for growth with the popularity and the amount of holders that are into it. People just want to find that success yet again. And you possibly will find that success if you are at a low enough price point. But anyways, we're still seeing $770 million that's going through this in volume. And the reason is, is because people are selling the position. And as you see sales, that's also volume. Volume doesn't just um, you know, attribute to buys. So anyways, um, it, it looks like something to where you have to find the right moment. But overall, the market is not really going our direction in the positive direction. We've seen some positive things that have happened in the last couple of days. We a couple of days. We've seen some negative things that have happened in the last couple of days, and Pepe is kind of one of those. Now, if we go into the amount of holders into this position, uh, currently you're seeing a decrease in holders as well at 106 thousand holders. It was at 107,000 holders the last time I checked. So you're seeing a decrease in holders, meaning that people are selling and you're not seeing any new buyers into the position. You're seeing maybe the same buyers, but not really new buyers into it, which uh, tells me that people are averaging into the position, but just not as much as people are selling the position, if that makes sense. So um, that, that just tells us that, and we see the amount of transfers, right? We see the amount of movement, which is a good thing. Um, but it's making people question whether Pepe is a, a good play or not. And honestly, that depends on where you buy it, right? Some people may say it's going to a dollar. Some people may say it's going to a penny and all this other stuff. And that may be the topic of conversation, but there's so much more to look at than just like, Hey, for the long term, hold on to this for the long term. Cause it seems like people are not doing that, right? They're playing it short term. And maybe when it gets low enough, you'll probably see so many bags that people are trying to hold to see it get back to a $1.1 million or billion dollar market cap, giving them a 10 X return or a five X return or something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, it's down by, uh, 70% in the last seven days down by 25% in the last day. And I know people, some people are like attributing this to like bad press with whole, with the whole Coinbase situation and you know, everything that's going on there labeled as a hate symbol and everything. Um, but I think it's, it's much more simple than that. It's just a, a negative day in the market, right? A really, really bad negative day in the market, as well as seeing, the pullback from this initial jump that we saw all the way up to a $1.6 billion market cap. You're going to see retracements. The movement was just way too fast percentage wise, and people are going to take advantage of those percentages. So we are seeing that. Now, do I think this is the best, abs the absolute best investment that we can possibly have? No, you know, I think there are a lot of other ones that you can be a, a part of, but it doesn't hurt for me at least to get my feet wet and to dollar cost average down with a slight bit of money, not anything that I can't afford, but something that, you know, I'm very, very comfortable with. Like the amount that I'm risking is a very, very small amount compared to my overall portfolio. If I have a hundred dollars and I have a $60,000 portfolio, that is a minuscule amount compared to the amount I have invested everywhere else. So, um, take, take your risk seriously and, um, make sure you're not, taking on too much of it. But anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about uh, Pepe right now being down by 25%. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here and I will catch you guys in the next video.